A very good day to everyone. We are now entering lesson at prepositions. Okay, everyone. I would like to explain and define the prepositions. Prepositions is a word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. They act to connect the people, objects, time, and locations of a sentence. Prepositions are usually short words, and they are normally placed directly in front of nouns. Let's take a look for the example of preposition phrases. Good day to my fellow classmate in Dr. Lachman. Here's an example that I wish to share on preposition. I was reading a book in the living room. The preposition in specifies where exactly I was reading a book. It is placed directly before the noun living room not counting a sometimes optional article like the. Let's move on to the next slide, which is categories of prepositions. Prepositions as a class of words can be divided in four categories. Preposition of time, temporal, Example given, in, on, at. Preposition of place, special. Example given, in, on, at. Preposition for direction. Example given, to, towards, into, through. Preposition for device, instrument, or machines. Example given, on, by, with. This classification is not this junk. A lot of preposition fall in more than one group. Example given, in, can be used for in the car, special, or four in five years temporal to summarize categories there's some overlap with transitions words conjunctions and linking words in general keep in mind that the main purpose of a preposition is the determination of the relationship in time or place. Thus, contrary to other small words, they are not an element of style, but absolutely mandatory. To find the correct preposition is difficult, even for advanced ESL speakers. Since a one-to-one -one translation from your mother tongue is usually wrong. To make matters worse, not real rules exist when to use which preposition. So, the only way is to memorize them. As always, reading books or watching movies helps a lot. Hello, Dr. Loman and my fellow classmates. I'm Yuri Martin, and I'm going to present about the common preposition phrases. First, the uses of word at. Example, at high speed, at risk, at one side, at a pressure of, at the end, at sight, at the trouble. And example for uses of Word out, 
out of fashion, out of print, out of step, out of brief, out of contact, out of control, out of curiosity, the uses of word in, in time, in demand, in focus, in depth, in answer to, in danger, in decline, word by, by chan, by the name of, by luck, by accident, by air, by sea, and by land. And lastly, forward on. On what? On schedule, on the record, on the road, on pen off, on the air, on balance. Next slide. Preposition of time. The word on usually used for explanation of days and date. For example, on Sunday, on May 1st, on Christmas Eve, on my mark, on the weekend. While the word in usually used for explanation of month, season, years, and part of the day after a period of time. For example, in summer, in July, in 2017, in the evening, in an hours, in the future. The word at is used for explanation of a specific point of time. At 11.15 pm, at half past six, at noon, at night, at the weekend, at first glance. Preposition of place. The word on is used to refer a position above in contact with certain site. For example, on the desk, on my shoulder, on the wall, on the water, on the left side, on the bright side, on leaf, on fire, on the way, on the pond, on TV, on the menu, on train, on the bus, and on a plane. Next, for the word in, it is used to refer a position or state inside something. In London, in the book, in the mirror, in love. While word at is used to refer a area or a specific position. Example, at home, at the table, at the party, at the cinema, at school. Hello fellow cosmate and Dr. Lutman. My name is Zul Kipli and I will be explaining this slide on preposition to show direction or movement. Thus, preposition to is used in a direction toward a person or things. Example how you can create a sentence using preposition to go to bed. Move on to, face to face, to the entrance. To also can be used towards a given state. Example, back to hell, all the way to, to die for. Preposition from can be used as a starting point or movement away from. Example how you can create a sentence using from Walk home from the station Travel from New York to LA Despite that, from can be used also to show a source, a cause, or a distinction Example, a not from the teacher No right from wrong Preposition across is to show on, at, to, or from the other side. Example, across the street, line across the paper. For preposition into is used to show a movement to the inside or interior of the condition, state, or Form of 
example, went into the kitchen, crashed into a tree, breaking into pieces, go into banking. Preposition can be used at the start of the sentence, in the middle, or at the end. Moving on to the next slide is the other important preposition. First, preposition for is used to indicate the object, aim, or purpose. Example how you can use preposition for to create a sentence. 1. Happy for you. 2. For sale. 3. Eager for them. For, for one thing. Five, for heaven's sake. Preposition by is used in the name of or through the agency or action of. Example of a, te of a sentence using by. One, a book by Mark Twain by myself, played by Daryl, killed by a bullet. Lastly, preposition with is used in the present or use of. Example of a sentence using preposition with, with a friend, with cheese, with Confident, with a lot. Confidence, patience, integrity, problem, struggle, etc. Let's continue on preposition in grammar. A preposition is a word that creates a relationship between words to indicate relative positions in space or time. The doctrine that a preposition may not be used to end a sentence was promulgated by 18th century Latin obsessed grammarian introverts. The rule has since become one of the most venerated maxims of schoolroom grammatical lore. Alas, unjustified so. In fact, English syntax allows and sometimes requires final placement of the prepositions. Example of preposition in grammar. 1. That's depend on what you believe in. 2. What did you step on? 3. Elias had no one to play with. 4. Five excited puppies are almost too many to put up with. 5. A good medium raw steak should not be so hard to come by. And lastly, 6. Ending a sentence with a preposition is nothing to be afraid of. Greetings all. My name is Nicole. These are the example of the sentences. A new railroad is under construction. After two trial runs, we did it for real. By the time I got there, he'd gone. By the way, how is John? Could you put your ideas down on paper? He is under treatment for malaria. He took the purse from her by force. He was putting himself at risk. And the last one is, he's on trial for his life. Hello, I'm Geoffrey Jonas. So this slide, I'll be explaining about the phrasal verbs. Many prepositions are also used as phrasal verbs or idiomatically. There are no specific rules. These expressions must be memorized. Here are some examples. Look up. Add up to something. Call something off. Apply to. Depend on.
identical to, opposed to, preoccupied with, prohibited from, and recover from. Hello, I'm Caroline. So I'm going to explain for the question part. But before that, I hope you guys can understand what's been presented by my other friend from the slide before this. Most of the example given was the most basic word that we usually use for our daily life or during our working life. So I'm going to proceed for the first question. From the gift picture, what are the words of the preposition? And the sentence was, I will start to exercise from now. And hmm. so what is the preposition used? Okay, so the answer is two. Two is the proposition. This is the proposition that we use to connect this sentence together. Next is question two. You guess what are the preposition phrase on the sentence above? The sentence was, "I'll see you at cinema tonight." So, what is the preposition used in this sentence? So, the answer was at. At was the preposition that we use to connect this sentence together. Okay, that's all from all of us. We hope you enjoy the slide and we hope you understand the use of preposition in the sentence that you're going to make. Thank you.